all you cool cats and kittens. It's me, Sailor Moon. <laughs> Time to clock in. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Fucking horrible. Do any of my OG night shifters out there remember the kicked out vlog series? Logan was about to fight KSI and he said everybody should leave the house for a while. This is that again. This is the kicked out vlog series 2020 pandemic edition. So as you guys know, I surprised Logan with this mantis shrimp for his birthday last week. I thought it was gonna be the greatest gift ever. I thought he was gonna be so excited about it. I was so excited about it. I hyped it up so much because I really did think he was gonna love it. And he fucking hated it, he hated it. It was the wrong, it was the wrong shrimp. It wasn't colorful enough for him. He didn't like it, he thought it was ugly. Well that night, I wasn't having it. I was pissed off. I said a bunch of shit I didn't mean. He said a bunch of shit that wasn't super nice either. We were just slinging insults left and right. Come to think of it actually, he was only slinging left insults. He didn't sling a single right insult the entire time. But anyways, it wasn't my choice to leave the house. He asked me to give him a little bit of space and rightfully so. And so just like that, I'm back out on the mean streets. Feels like 2006 again. I didn't even get to grab my toothbrush or my pillows or anything. All that aside, I guess. Babe. Babe. Look at me. I'm, I'm shooting this, I gotta get through hey. it. Babe, do you know who I am? I'm Sailor Moon. Yeah, I know who you are. So what do you wanna do about it? Babe, honestly, it's like two o'clock. This would be time number four for the, like, I'm, I'm out of juice. I got nothing left in the tank. Actually, you know what, wait a second. Babe, where are you going? I'll I'm be right, right back, I'll be right back. <laughs> If you guys watch the Impulsive Podcast, you've probably seen me and Logan talk about this magic little pill from a company called Blue Chew. It's a chewable tablet that you take 20 to 30 minutes prior to sex. It makes you the fucking man in the bedroom. Whether you're a little bit older and you can't get hard or you can't stay hard, or like me, you have a very demanding girlfriend, go to the link in the description below and use promo code NIGHTSHIFT for a one month free trial. Chew it and do it, baby. And so, yes, times are bleak. I've missed two impulsive episodes back to back. That hasn't been fun. After 170 episodes of building the number one podcast in the world, it's, it's been quite trying. I've got 90% of the low gang on my back because they think I gave Logan a shitty birthday present. I've got every 12 year old porn addict up my ass because they think I took the hottest chick out of the porn game. And here I am now locked up in my new quarantine spot, some Beverly Hills penthouse overlooking the Hollywood Hills. It's a real tragedy. And to make matters worse, I finished the last episode of Tiger King last night, so now I've got nothing fat, round, or juicy to look forward to. Well, I guess that's not true. And the worst part of all of it is we're down to the last roll of toilet paper. Lana controls the fucking output on it. She gives me like two sheets every time I go to the bathroom. There is nothing more demeaning to a man's spirit than knowing that you need one more piece of toilet paper, one more wipe and just having to pull up your pants and walk away like everything's okay. Everything's not okay. Anyways, I guess what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the night shift. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. All right, to add insult to injury, you gotta get real, real creative with the content right now. There's a reason King David Dobrik has not put out a vlog in an entire month. It's just not easy, there's just not that much shit to film. We've been stuck in this house for how long? Wait, are you talking quarantine in general or just since you've been here? Uh, All the days that you've been staying here have just been blending together and I have no idea how long you've been here. Are you having fun? Do you like having me here? Yeah, I love having me here. I successfully stole you from Logan. <laughs> oh my god, don't say that. <laughs> you do not want that beef right now. <laughs> ha ha, Logan. The trick's on you. I set all of that up. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason we got the shitty mantis shrimp. You took the colorful one and replaced it. <laughs> this balcony has literally been the one thing saving my life all week. Can you do a quick lap down the, down the end there? Do like a quick sprint. <laughs> all right, come on back. <laughs> and the whole wall on the apartment opens up. Come on. I mean, this shit's dope. It's been a good change of scenery, but I'm not gonna lie. I am sad, I really am. I miss my boys. Mm -hmm. And probably more than anything, I miss Dwarf Mamba. I miss Evan a lot, I love Evan. All right, so one of the biggest things I've been trying to figure out since we got locked down in quarantine is how to make content. We're stuck in our houses, there's nothing to shoot. Hey, I'm Wallace. I think people are just locked up, they don't know what the fuck to do. But, it got me to thinking, I have like a 93% male audience, 18 to 34, I wonder why that is. And I'm like, yo, what are these young, fit, horny guys like 
more than hot chicks and fucking food. As the king of rating moderate speed burger places, we've already done egg slot, we've already done Chick-fil-A, we've already done Shake Shack. We've already done Shake Shack. And so today I figured why not do one of the places that I truly love the most, another unsponsored food review on the night shift with Five Guys. So we got the bacon cheeseburger at Five Guys. Every regular cheeseburger comes with two patties. So if you want a cheeseburger with one patty, you have to order the little burger. So this is the bacon cheeseburger. It's got a ton of meat on it, a ton of cheese, bacon. I got lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, onions. It's on this really soft bun. I got the double bacon cheese hot dog. And then when it comes to the fries at Five Guys, they cook all their fries in this like peanut oil. And when you order it, they usually just load the entire bag with fries as well. Somebody's already eaten eating all of the ones that were in the bag. <laughs> And then of course we got milkshakes. They've got a ton of different milkshakes. We got the vanilla one with whipped cream here. And my favorite, the Oreo one. And me and Mike don't say milkshakes. We call them milkies. They're called milkies and we drink them every fucking night. All right, so the first thing you notice about Five Guys is the burger's giant. I think it's probably the biggest burger on the market and it's a little bit pricier. I think it's like $9.50. Yeah, so it's kind of pricey, but it's also just a big old hearty fucking burger. Mmm, can you just see the juices like dripping out when I'm being bite into it? It's super meaty. This thing fills you the fuck up. Yeah, let's try my hot dog together. I don't want to skip that. <laughs> why don't we just try it? I don't, I don't know why I feel a certain way about eating a foot long hot dog at the same time hey, as you. Come here. I'm not doing come it. Come here. I'm not doing it. This is just like when you try to stick your finger up my ass. I'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> It's hot dog really fucking good. Now she's from Chicago, which and is we, like- And we have Portillo's, which has amazing fucking hot dogs, but I have to say this can compete. Really? Yeah. It's that good? Yeah. What do you like about it? It's very meaty. This is a good hot dog though. By the way, shout out to everybody in Chicago. Great fucking city, the Windy City. If you're watching this from Chicago, we love you. Yeah, thanks for making Lana Roads. Thanks for making Lana Roads. That was super helpful. Super helpful to me, my sex drive, my YouTube channel, my future. <laughs> thanks a lot, Chicago. My future children. My future children, which after this quarantine, it's pretty fucking likely. Do you at least want to try this now? I want to take this item by item. For a long time now, you guys know that I've always called Shake Shack the number one when it comes to moderate speed burger places. I love the really soft buttery buns and I like the cheesy fries a lot, but I've always put Five Guys at a very close second. Babe, I have to say, after tasting both, I think I actually like this better. And their milkshake's better than the one that I had. So you like Five Guys better? Yeah. And everyone back at the Maverick house, who's just enjoying that massive compound right now, running around outside, swimming in the pool, using the private gym, laughing at their old friend Mike, who used to be at the fucking house, and used to be a f Baby, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody back at the Maverick house likes Five Guys better than Shake Shack as well. That's what I was getting at. So here's my statement on it. I think if you're really, really, really hungry, you go to Five Guys. The burger by itself has got two burgers on it. It's a big ass fucker. The fries are massive. They spill it into the bag. See all the grease on the bed? That's how you know. That's how you just know it's perfect fat boy food. The shakes are really thick. I don't know, it really is getting harder and harder for me to call Shake Shack the king of this category. Fun fact guys, the first time me and Mike hung out, he made me grilled cheese. I did, yeah. I did. If you're watching this and you're a guy, which you probably are, 93%, like I said, of people watching this are men right now, be funny, give the girls food, and be tall. There's really only one of those that you could do simply, unless you have the other two naturally, and that's make food. If you're trying to get out a girl, buy her some mozzarella sticks, buy her some pizza, I what? what? I, don't, I don't know if it works though, because one time whenever I had a crush on that guy, Tommy, I kept sending him food on Postmates and he still wouldn't hang out with me. I sent him food like 10 times. That was reverse. It's gotta be the guy on the girl. But what if she just uses you for your food and then never dates you, because that's what happened to me. Mozzarella sticks, french fries, fried pickles, you get him some cheesy fries with some hey, gravy she's, she's on them. She's not pregnant. What the fuck do you mean fried pickles? More like sweets, babe. You just like butchered that. Girls want milkshakes, chocolate, cake. Stuff. For the 7% of people that are watching this that are girls, drop in the comments below if you'd rather have fried pickles or cookies. <laughs> <laughs> cookies, that was a horrible comparison. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's mukbang with five guys. Like I said, Big ass food, a ton of fucking meat, perfect for the fat boy and all of us. Go check it out. I'm sure there's probably one where you live, but I actually don't know because I'm not an expert on this shit. I just love food. The reason I know so much about Five Guys is because I used to be fat myself. 
Here's a picture of me as a fat ass to leave this segment with. Bye, you cool cats and kittens. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to clock out. <laughs> all I do all day is just watch Dave Portnoy, El Presidente. Every unboxing, every Davy Day Trader global video, every frozen pizza review, I don't have anything else to watch at this point.